secrets, man. I, I think in my previous shot, I said there are no secrets. Well, there are some secrets. And the secret, one of the secrets, secret, the holy of holies, is that sometimes salmon like blue comets. So we're going to give them a blue comet. Now, this is a Daiichi. It's not my usual hook, but I really like this hook. It's their steelhead boss hook, which is my reference 2571, size 2. This is a short shank hook. It's slightly offset. It's a slightly downturned eye, and it is just a killer fly for little comets and little bosses. It reminds me of that uh... TMC 800, the non-saltwater one. Just a great, it was a black hook. They made it for years. Very good hook. This, yeah. is, this is a beautiful, yeah. beautiful hook. So here's another little shocker. Um, peacock green ice dub. It's almost a black. If you don't have this, use a black ice dub. It's fuzzy. It's it, it's got nice what oh kind of it's, fu it's fuzzy what what do we fly tires say fuzziness traps air bubbles and it really impresses the fish who knows but it, it's a real nice body material uh, I'm using a dyed blue grizzly euro saddle hackle you use these on your intr if you if you folks are tying intruders if you Gentlemen and ladies are tying intruders. There's a story behind that. Or pick your pockets. Or pick your pockets. Great feather for that. The point is, it's not just guys that tie great flies and fly fish. I've been reminded recently. I've been whacked with a 2 by 4 being an old guy makes assumptions about who the demographics of fly fishing. Do you need yeah. to use a sinking line for this fly? It has no weight. Yes. It has uh, uh, no. Seems no, like you, you don't. You don't need to. In fact, in, in Elk River Estuary, uh, sometimes a floating line is more effective. Intermediate line. Uh, this is a small fly. This is a low clear water fly. You could use if you use bead chain. Use the small bead chain. Try silver. Great fly. Blue.